Hi guys, Bruce here. Super sad they don't make these anymore, eh? Craftsman, 158 cc, uh, classic engine. This one looks like a Murray because it has one spring instead of two on the on the governor. And just the weight of it. The Murrays are just a little bit heavier than the MTDs on this model. But the problem with this guy is this cable. You shot. Uh, it does turn it on and off. If you can look down there, I'll squeeze the bale and you can see the little guy move. Right there. Oh, it quit. No, it pulls out there. Oh! Caution, caution. Where is it? There it is. So it pulls out from there. We've all seen that. Anybody who works on mowers has seen that. So I'm going to try and get the wire out of this guy. And we're going to make a new cable. Exactly the same length as this one. Thanks. Okay, let's remove that this guy from here. Oop. We need two tools. We need a pry bar and a side snips to cut off the old tie wraps. Ah, it's got tape on it. That tells me something. That's probably me. Needle. I need one of those fancy OEM tools. Close. up one of these. So you guys can turn around now. And we're going to measure this guy up. Well, how, you know, just a moment I'm going to explain what I need. What, ooh, that's fun. Ooh. Well. Isn't that interesting? Is anything broken? No. I am tempted to repair this guy. If it pulls that easy, why won't it pull when it's in the machine? Interesting. I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is my new one. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to cut it the same length as the old one. We're going to go strictly on length this time. Maybe not. Maybe I crushed it. That would suck. Okay. And this this new stuff that I'm working on, it's a breakthrough. It's bicycle stop cable, not lawnmower stop cable, right? So what I'm going to do some fresh wire. We're going to do this all with nice new parts if we can. Get rid of this guy for now. I'm going to stuff some wire through there. Although, you know, I want... <laughs> you know what I really want. You know what I really, 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 really want. Be right back. All right, I've got the exact length of conduit here we need with one end on. This end can screw on, but not all of them will. I learned that today. First one. Now we screw this together. Push it through. <laughs> there we go. Come and see. Pardon me? Come and see. All right. Ooh, look at that! Went through. My new homemade one. Yeah. Darling, I now know the camera's not on. Okay. 
Okay, let's have a quick compare. Just put those away because it's a bit. There you go. Hi guys. So the other end is equal length. I don't think it gets any better than that. Might, this one might be a tad shorter, which is going to be fine. Now we stick it on the lawnmower and see if it works. Are you guys there with me? It's not too much glare. Wrong tool. Oh, we. Oh well, we'll just pliers. It's not going to be tight enough. I knew it. Isn't that a dirty dog, eh? Every one of these I make is always just a little bit short. Let's see if it starts. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, I'll just tighten up this wire a little bit. Yeah, that's going to have to be tightened up a tad. Well, that's too bad. That happens almost every time. Okay, I took about a three-eighths of an inch out. Let's see if it goes. Hey, I know that's going to work. It's a full... Let's get you in there. Sorry, don't look up. Don't look up. Okay, now we're going to get in there. From this side. Looking down. Zoom in. There we are. Nope. Hi guys, I'm actually pretty disappointed. I ended up putting two splices in there because uh, one pulled out on the original design, right? So it's my neighbor, so he's going to let me know how it goes. Thanks for watching this uh, uh, semi-success. A, proto a prototype is always hard to do.